Hi, everybody. Welcome to week eight of our Apex English 1010 online course. It's our last week. Oh my gosh. I can't, I can't handle it. It's just wild. I am so proud of you guys. You have really worked hard this whole semester. You've given 110%, even in the face of not small challenges, right? Technology is crazy. There were power outages. <laughs> There's a international pandemic going on. But you guys really honed in and focused and have worked so, so hard. And I'm so proud to say that we are in the home stretch. This week, we're working on our final project, which is a reflective portfolio. In this video, I'm going to talk through the aspects of the project, and I'll go over one last time our weekly schedule. And then finally, I'll give you our final chat check-in prompt, chat check-in number eight. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's what we've got on deck. I'm going to switch over to our screen share view and we'll get right to it. Okay. So Here's just the quick overview. Our final project is only going to take one week, which is good because we only have one week left. <laughs> um, your final portfolio, you are here again. We're kind of circling back to uh, the whole idea of where we've come from, the new things we've learned, integrating it all into where you are today, this week. So for week eight, I'm going to look at this overview in a minute and I'm going to dive in here and look at our project for assignment description, but you can see that we have three project builders due this week. Your portfolio brainstorm sheet is due pretty quickly here. Uh, chat check-in number eight, and your two last project builders are actually just rough drafts. So just kind of keep that in mind. Your comic draft, which we'll talk about in a second, your screencast draft, those are both due by the 12th, just to kind of keep you on track to get things done. Now, you'll also notice that there's one final extra credit opportunity, which is you can post your rough draft of everything, of your essay and video and comic, or you can just do your essay if you choose, but do one last peer review for extra credit. I won't be um, grading it, but I will give you points if you participate and if you give each other really good feedback. And then your final portfolio is due on the 14th. So let's dive in here and look at the project for assignment description. So this is our, our last project. <clears throat> and one of the things you can see down here in our big picture assessment, oh, whoops, I need to change that. It is not due the 9th. It is due the 14th. Okay, sorry about that. You know, we've have had some problems with wonky dates. I really apologize, guys. <laughs> some of the dates did not get entered correctly into Canvas. All right, but this is what we want to focus on. In your final reflection, I want one comic. And that shouldn't be too strenuous because you've already created a comic for me once in this class. One screencast. And for those of you who've been taking advantage of the extra credit, screencast assignments. You guys already kind of know what you're doing here. And one essay, one reflective essay that will be about two to three pages long. So let's let's look at this a little bit more. The rationale for this project is that I am asking you to reflect on your learning in this class and on your writing and how it's progressed. So those are two different things, right? Your learning has to do with you, the writer, what's happening in your mind about writing, about writing for college, thinking about yourself as a writer, and then thinking about your writing. So that's the product, that's the thing that you're composing. Um, and so I want you to think about those two different things for this project. And think about where we began. We were thinking about your own writing and your own practices, your own language use, your own experiences with language when you came in. And now we've gone through eight weeks together and where are you now, right? So think about that span of time and your growth. So 
you can think about too all of the things that we've been talking about in terms of the influences and the tensions. Um, you've thought about the systemic and systematic forces that influence your literacy and your education. And now we're taking stock of where you are compared to where you started. So to that end, you've got three pieces. And I'll, before I get too much ahead of myself, I want you to also think about the course learning objectives. So those are reading, writing, reflection, and technology use. But I don't want you to force anything. This is not a BS assignment where I want to hear anything in particular. What I want is true and honest reflection. So if you feel like you didn't really grow in one of those learning outcomes, don't force it. Don't give me some line of bullshit that is like, yeah, I really grew in my technology use if you were already a technology wizard and nothing was particularly challenging for you. But if you did grow in technology use, if you're using Canvas for the first time and have learned about course management systems like Canvas, if you've learned about screencasting or anything that you have grown in in terms of your technology use, write about that. Okay. And here's where I want you to write. So the first assignment is to create a comic or a visual representation, but we've already done a comic for our summary, that summarizes your growth as a writer. So remember, I'm talking about those two different aspects, what you have gained as a writer and how you've grown in your writing. The comic is about you as a writer. Make sure that you have a main point that is like summarizing your growth as a writer. And a comic is a really great way to show progression because you can show the boxes or panels and they come one at a time. If you need a reminder, I included this tutorial that we looked at before when we did our visual summaries. Again, you may hand draw your comic and there's blank comic strip templates if you need those. You can do a digital comic. You can use Canva or Make Believe Comics or any other online platform if you prefer. But keep in mind that this visual summary should demonstrate your growth as a writer and your summary skills. You know, we don't have time for you to take me step by step through all eight weeks. So you need to summarize the eight weeks and how you've grown as a writer. Okay, so that's the comic. Now the second thing is that I'm gonna ask you to choose one of your first three projects, project one, the summary, project two, the response essay, or project three, your analysis, and I want you to create a screencast of you revising it. Now, y'all know that I have been putting comments in your drafts, right? So go in there, see those comments. If there was any feedback that you got from peer reviewers that you didn't take up or didn't have time to attend to, now is the time. You can look at your peer review feedback again. You can look at my comments and you can look at the rubric that I filled out for each of you, for each, whatever project you pick, and then revise it. And as you're revising it, talk through it. So for those of you who have done the extra credit screencasts, again, you already know this process, right? You're just going to show your screen. You're going to show yourself as you're making changes. Um, and then you're going to kind of talk through the changes as you make them, why you're making them, etc. But think about this. Before you start filming, first decide which piece you want to revise and why. And that might be something you talk about in your screencast. And then look at the piece, look at the comments, my feedback, your peer review feedback, and think about the levels of concern that you want to address. Higher order concerns, lower order concerns, and middle order concerns. Then, while you are filming, definitely think aloud. Talk through what you're changing and why. All right. So that's the screencast. So, so far we've got a comic, a screencast, and then a reflection essay. And here is where you can kind of really describe your growth in those two areas, right? The comic is about you as a writer and how you've grown. 
the screencast shows the product of your writing, like the actual thing. When you're when you go back and look at an essay that you've done a while ago, it's amazing the things that you catch and how you can see your own growth as you are changing and fixing things, even that you just notice now that you didn't notice then. And the reflection essay is where you talk about both together. So in this essay, I want you to evaluate your growth as a writer and a learner. Have you made good progress? No progress? Something in between? Did you surprise yourself? What is the quality of your growth? Is it good? Bad? Something in between? The best? And then as evidence for your evaluation in this reflection, make reference to at least two of our projects, but maybe more. Maybe there's specific instances like when you participated in your first peer review or when you um, did the first chat check-in or a chat check-in that really stands out to you, right? Hone in there and grab some really specific experiences from this class and talk about how you grew in your writing. Any of the informal writing assignments, any of the feedback that you received on papers, if you had conferences with me, if you talked to your tutor, write about that. And then make sure you participate in workshopping. We have the extra credit peer review. You have your tutors available to you. I will be holding office hours this week. So take advantage one last time of all these supports that we have put in place to help you really make this reflection essay top notch. And remember that in every single project that we've worked on, there have been connections to our learning outcomes for the course. So you can look at the connections for this assignment. You can go back and look at the connections to learning outcomes from your previous assignments. But at the end of the day, you're going to turn in on Friday, not Sunday, Friday, the 14th. You're going to turn in your comic, your screencast, and your reflection essay. So three files that all need to be uploaded to the Project 4 assignment turn in link. All right, so let's look at the progression of assignments for this week. And then I will present you with your final chat check-in. And then I will close out this video. <laughs> Try not to cry. Okay, so here's our week eight overview. Uh, by Monday, you want to watch this instructor video, which you're already doing. High five. And the thing that we want to read this week is just reading back over your own writing from the semester. By Wednesday-ish, you want to do chat check-in eight, do your brainstorm sheet for your reflection essay, and kind of start to think about your comic and the paper that you're going to revise for your screencast. I have two mini lessons that I have posted here. This one is an evaluative reflection mini lesson, which can help you greatly when you're thinking about your essay. And then this is a reflective writing mini lesson, which can also help you with your essay or your comic for that matter. But by Wednesday, you want to have your rough draft of your comic and your screencast or at least an outline, right? So even if you just kind of write your outline for what you're gonna talk about in your screencast, or if you just have like a pencil sketch and you haven't really like colored anything in for your comic, or you you know you started your online comic process, just, just have it started, have a draft by Wednesday. Because again, your final portfolio is due on Friday. August 14th by midnight. And then that's it. There isn't any more. Have a great quick break before we come back in the fall. Okay, well, I'm going to pull back to our full view. We'll talk about the chat check in and we'll close out this video. Okay, so chat check in eight. Your prompt for this final chat of the semester is to post what you are grateful for this semester. Uh, if we had been in person, I would have made us do a gratitude journal at the end of each week. But since we weren't, 
our our time and our methodologies were limited, but I'd like you to tackle it this week. What are you grateful for in the Apex program? What are you grateful for in your family? What have you been the most grateful for this semester? I'll tell you what I'm grateful for. I am grateful that I had the opportunity to meet all of you. You guys have been amazing students this semester, and you have made my teaching of Apex English 1010 online for the first time ever really rich and beautiful. And I'm really proud of the thinking and the writing that you guys have been working on this semester. So write down what you're grateful for. It can be one thing. It can be more than one thing. Have at it. Just really access the things that you are thankful for this term. And that's it. I have been honored to be your instructor this term. One quick announcement. Um, you will be getting an email to do uh, student evaluations of teaching for this online course. Please do them. Uh, it gives me really good feedback to know what's working and what's not working in my courses. It really helps me to understand how students are receiving the content that I'm posting online. And um, also it goes toward my annual review. So every year we get um, an annual review as full-time faculty and part of what I am graded on, I guess you could say, is my student evaluations of teaching. So please uh, give your honest feedback and let me know how this course was for you and how my teaching was. All right. Well, I hope to see some of you in my future classes. I'm so proud of all the work that you've done in this course. Um, happy drafting, happy revising. I'm so excited to read your portfolios at the end of this week. Let me know if you need any help or if you have any questions. And I will see you guys around. Bye, everybody.